And now we should actually boot up into a functioning Ubuntu server Linux virtual machine. So Grub will automatically do Ubuntu by default. That's the only operating system installed on this virtual machine. And um, yeah, uh, VirtualBox likes to give you a lot of these. Uh, just close it. Just likes to tell you what it's doing, what it's thinking, how it's doing today, etc. All right, logging in. Awesome. All right. So we have a fresh install. So we're just going to do kind of some of the basic stuff right now, just to make sure that the server is kind of up and rocking and rolling. So the first thing I want to do is just do IF config and we'll check to see. So we do have a 192, 168, 15, 137. So this tells me that this IP address has been given out by my local area network because it starts with 192.168. So let's connect to it through a shell. So we'll open up our terminal. Let me do SSH. We'll do Wibbit at... 192.168.15.137 and excellent. So we're able to connect. Awesome. So if I do an IF config here, boo shaka, it's up and running. Cool. So uh, I don't know if I necessarily need this shell. I'll just kind of put it aside just for now. So let's get this machine updated and then we can start installing our packages. So the first thing that we'll do is run a sudo or sudo, whatever you want to call it, apt get update. And we will update all of our source repository information. Cool. And then a sudo app gets upgrade to upgrade any packages that need to be upgraded. So we have a list of things that'll be upgraded and we'll just hit yes and let it do its thing here. It may take a while depending on how old your Ubuntu ISO is, how outdated it is and what packages actually are installed. So that was actually pretty quick. All right, so now we're gonna install our packages. I mean, there's several other things that you could install on this server if you wanted to, like antivirus or whatnot. Uh, I'm not gonna really bother with that right now. Uh, Clam AV is a really simple one. We'll first get started by installing Apache. So with Apache, we'll be doing uh, sudo, and I'm just gonna do sudo su, that way I don't have to keep typing sudo. Do apt get install Apache 2. All right, I guess I'm not gonna use this, so let's just get rid of that shell. Get the shell out of here. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So Apache looks like it's installed. So um, again, it's, what is it? Uh, 168. So let's open up our Chrome browser or Safari or whatever you got going on. And we'll do um, 192.168.15.137. And we get the, hey buddy, equivalent of Ubuntu's Apache 2 server. So cool. Look at that. So we have a web server. Now the web server doesn't really do much, doesn't really have much functionality. So let's start uh, adding more packages to this. So next we're going to install uh, PHP. So there's the P in the lamp. Of course, we're not necessarily installing this in the order of LAMP, but you know, whatever. So uh, by default, this particular version is installing PHP 7. So now we have PHP installed. Now, if you're using this exact version and you set this up exactly as I did, we should be able to go to var triple W and uh, inside of here, you're going to see a directory called HTML. I usually change this just because I hate a, you know HTML. I, I'll usually change it to htdocs. I'm not going to really bother with it in this case. It's just too much hassle for this, but uh, I'll show you how you could do that. It's not a big deal. And you know, maybe we'll do it. We'll see. I don't know. All right. So in here, you see, as we do an LS, you see that there's an index.html. So I'm going to move that to index.php. Uh, so now if you see here, we have index.php. So if I run this, the web page works. We know that PHP is working. Now, if you really, really want to test it out, let me just remove that because I don't really care. We'll uh, nano index.php and we'll add our PHP tags and we'll just do echo. I think it's what PHP info. I'm not sure if PHP 7 supports that. Let's see. Okay, um, it's not. And there's a reason because I didn't finish the process. So as, as you see here, this is just serving up the source code and we actually need to install the PHP Apache module in order for that to work. We'll keep marching down the list. Let's do a um, sudo apt get install lib Apache. Oop, yeah, lib Apache 2 mod PHP and not sudo, <laughs> do. I, you know what? And I'm sudo su, I don't even need to type sudo anymore. All right, so now we're installing stuff. So I think after this, I, you know, usually I just run through, I run all my scripts to get my server up and running. So I don't, I uh, actually forgot that uh, I have to install this module first because <laughs> I've done it. I have it scripted, so I don't even have to do it anymore. Okay, great. So after installing that module, now you see PHP is actually functioning. So we've kind of linked PHP and uh, Apache together. And uh, this PHP info uh, function is just an HTML document that shows information about the instance of PHP that you have running. So that's cool. So we have Apache. We have, um, okay, we have the Linux, we have the Apache, we have the PHP, but we're missing the mm, the MySQL. So let's do that. 